What's up everybody, my name is Brendan and this is Big Bear B Creative. Welcome back to this week's Sunday episode, which means we're doing another photo editing video today. So if you saw the thumbnail, which you probably did because you clicked on this video, you already know what photo we're going to be editing. But basically, we're just going to be doing an edit that's going to bring out some of the shadows because they're just a little too dark without losing shadows. But we're also going to bring in a lot of color that this photo really needs to make it pop. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this. This was the last one in the first batch of my beach photos that I edited. So. Soon we're gonna catch back up to real time with this whole next part when I'm sitting over the computer. You know, back then I used to be able to wear contacts and you know, we weren't fully in quarantine. So hopefully now this means it will be going out of quarantine soon and maybe I'll get contacts again soon. So that way we're not having this glare in the glasses that we have had for the last couple weeks. But yeah, so we're gonna jump, jump on over to my computer and get started editing this. All right, so we're back over here. And again, this is very similar to the one like last week. It's a more quick action shot. And really, I was just drawn to this one because of the beautiful green color that was emanating from this rock. And the fact that after every swell went out, you could just see it just dripping down. And I don't know, it just got my attention and I wanted to capture that. So with this one, with this, one <laughs> this one is gonna be a lot like uh, last week's, that there isn't really a whole lot we need to do to it but really just want to bring out some of that color and just kind of separate more of the highlights from the shadows. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. So as always, we're just going to start with the contrast. I normally just put it up to 10 for almost all of them. Um, highlights, I do want to boost a little bit. I might, I'm even going to raise the shadows just a little bit just so you can actually see a little bit more of what's happening down here. Um, whites, I'm going to bring up a little bit. And then I might bring the blacks down just a smidge, which is going to help kind of create that line around like these droplets and stuff like that. Um, clarity again, going up probably somewhere around 20, 25. It's typically where I put it. Um, noise. I had messed with the noise on this one before because there is a little bit of noise over in the top corner. Um, but it's just, you're going to have that every now and then. Um, I am going to boost some of the saturation and vibrance, uh, do a little bit with the AI filter. If you've been watching these videos, you know, it, it basically I go through the same steps with every photograph that I take, at least if they're along the same type of photo, um, which these are all beach photos. So they're going to be similar, except we've had some um, night long exposure, not night, but evening long exposures. We've had morning long exposures blue light hour. Uh, we're going to go into a little bit of what's close to a gold, uh, golden hour, but not quite yet with those. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned if you want to watch that one. I'm just going to go in here a little bit with the dehaze. And then saturation, again, this is a, a very, I spend a lot of time here with the beach ones uh, just because I want to bring out the color in the uh, ocean water itself because it's very kind of minimal right now and I want to bring a little bit more of that out. So I'm going to raise the luminance of that all the way up, the saturation of that all the way up, and I wanna see what we could do here with the hue. I'm actually gonna bring that all the way down technically, which is basically just gonna mean it's a little bit more of a greener aqua, which I feel would sit in very nicely with the green that we focused on here with the algae growing on the rock. I'm gonna boost the algae color, basically the green, just a little bit. I'm gonna lower the yellow just a smidge and then boost up a little bit of that orange. Let's see, if, do, I, do we need any of that red? Hmm. Oh, just kidding, I'm, I've apparently just been dragging the orange. Do we need any of that red? I'm going to boost, boost, boost that red. Um, just because it's going to add more color to this little tiny rock that's popping up, which has cute little algae growing on it. It's going to add a little bit more, more color to the bottom here and up to the top. So we're going to stick that there. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit of some structure. Just again, because I want to help separate that water droplet and give the rock and all the uh, life just a little bit more um, of an outline, basically. And then again, the same kind of thing with the small details up just a little bit. You can even see some of the uh, the shells that have attached to the rock, which 
I don't know what animals it is that's in them, <laughs> that's actually attached to it, but unfortunately I don't know that much about animal life, but it's real, still really cool. More as filter now, we're going to boost the sharpening just a little bit, and do I want to raise the bottom light? I uh, definitely don't want to raise it that much. Uh, maybe we'll stick to about that and then lower the top just a little bit. Now, how does that look? And you really see we brought out a lot of color back to this image. Um, it made things a lot brighter and then you can actually see some, looks like some worms or something? Some sort of, again, different kind of life that I don't know that's attached to it. Um, but yeah, so that's the photograph. Basically, again, we just went in, brought a lot of color back. It's kind of like that uh, beach photo that we did a couple weeks ago where it was a very dull gray brown color and we brought a lot of color into it. It's kind of what we did here, except not as much of an extreme. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy the after shots of this and then we'll jump back over to me over there. I hope you guys like how this photo turned out, really you know, how we kind of brought back some of the shadows so you could see a little bit more without losing some, some of the shadows and really brought in a nice splash of color that this photo really needed. Because as you saw with the before one, that it wasn't bad, but there was definitely a lot of color missing, specifically in the ocean water. And I mean, really the only color was the algae, so we really brought everything back in, which I thought it turned out really nice. If you guys think so too, let me know down in the comment section below, or if you think I could have done something different with this, again, let me know. Like, It's a creative art, so it's kind of just fun to talk about different ways that we each do things, and we all will just learn all together. So, like I said, I hope you guys like this. If you did like this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Not, a, not only does it tell me that you like this photo editing session, but that you like this kind of videos, that you like things I'm doing. Tells me I need to keep making more for you guys. And if you do want more, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Again, it's going to let me know to keep making these and it's just helping me grow and kind of bring in other people who we could all learn from as well to this community. So, I get a little bit of depth. <laughs> Had to be a stumble around here soon. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the like button if you guys like this kind of content. Also, head on over to my social medias. There you will get updates on whenever I post videos, if I'm posting a blog or if I have posted a blog. You might get to vote on what kind of photo or video we do next. So, all, it's all there, you know, links are in the description box below. So, you can also head there and down in the description box as well as our but the, the, the second one. There's also links to my apparel and my photo prints. If you guys are looking for some nice eco-conscious apparel, it's all nature design based. Go ahead and check mine out. It's all the graphic designs that we've done on this channel that I've just put up. They're for sale on my merch page and on my Teespring page. You can choose the color, size, if you want it in a t-shirt, long sleeve hoodie. It's also available as a tote bag. Those four are all the eco-conscious ones. I also sell stickers. Unfortunately, those are eco-conscious, but eventually and hopefully they will be. And then also, if you're looking for some nice prints for your home or office or anything like that, Check out my photo prints. Those are going to be sold on my merch page in Zazzle. Again, they're linked all down below, so go ahead and check those out. You can choose the size, paper quality if you want to frame, anything like that. So, like I said, hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Be safe and go be creative.